When stains like this are that bad. Okay, other house. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We are just about to head out the door to go get Ryler from swim. I'm cooking him up a few pieces of toast here. So we're about to start the day. You guys, we have already got the tile guy here right now. It is currently seven o'clock in the morning. He's been here since 6.30. He's working away. I'll give you a little bathroom update after he leaves today to see where we're at. We were hoping to have it done by the Super Bowl, but then I remember the Super Bowl's this weekend and not next weekend. Bummer, dude. We're gonna go get Ryler from swim, drop him off at school. He's so excited today because he has a field trip. Will you go throw that in the garbage? No, I need mean, more in there. You want more in there? There you go. Wow, good job. Hey, son. What up? All right, we've got a field trip to get to. Oh, yeah. Eat up. How was swim today? Good. And this morning when I came in, uh, the lady took my picture so I could have my picture whenever I swim. Ooh. Tell everyone what you're doing today. We're going to the Clark Planetarium. He's going to the Clark Planetarium on a field trip. And there, we're gonna watch a 3D movie and eat our lunch while we're watching it. Well, that's pretty exciting. Uh, now we're on the aim and we're watching a show. Okay, so let's have a great day. Bye. Love you, crew. You have your lunch? Yeah. I love you. Yeah. Love you, I just kissed your nose. Have a great day. Walk with Kruby. Love you. There's your book. Okay, see ya, bud. Thank you. See ya. Love you, sweetie. You want a song gone? You want a song gone? What song do you want on? I want Stone yeah, and Bungie Rice. You guys know what she wants on? The Greatest Showman. I've got a lot of laundry to do. I'm gonna show you guys today the way that I do laundry. My crazy system, I do have a system. It's a very detailed, intricate system that I'm sure drives everybody in the family nuts because I'm so picky about doing my laundry. So I'm gonna show you guys that today. The theme of today's video is laundry. That seems kind of weird, right? Well, you guys, laundry is like a huge portion of what I do every day. You guys remember when I did, redid my laundry room? That was really fun. I got a new washer and dryer. I painted. I did a bunch of stuff in the room. This is where I spend a ton of time. I almost spend as much time here as I do my bedroom. Scary truth. But you guys, there's so much that goes into having a family of six. I mean, we're really a family of seven. Maddie doesn't live here. I don't have to do her laundry. Doing the laundry for all of the kids is a huge task. Pajamas. Pajamas are huge. My kids wear so many pajamas. Like they swear I, they change them twice a day. And then uniforms. And then they come home and they don't want to be in uniforms because those don't look cool. They want to have regular clothes and then they change into regular clothes. But then we might be going to do this. So then we're going to change into something because we're going out to dinner. Needless to say, there are a ton of clothes to wash at my house. I want to show you guys my setup. I'm going to air out my dirty laundry for you all. Do we dare? Show you all the weird, quirky things that I do. I have a method to it. I have a crazy way of doing it. And I'm gonna show you guys my crazy madness to my laundry room. So I have my laundry organizer here, my brand new washer and dryer that I got just this last summer. Laundry organization. This is where I hang all of the clothes that I don't dry. We've got extra sheets up here. I use this bowl to like rinse out like really heavy stains. I'll mix some OxyClean and water and mix it in there. Tablecloths, you guys, these, these are all, all of those socks right there, those are homeless socks. They don't have a mate. They're single socks. When I get like a big group of them like that, then I'll take them all down and I'll match them. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't need to buy socks anymore. <laughs> okay, guys. One thing I want to tell you about this laundry room that I hated when we first moved here. In fact, I hated it so much I wanted my dad to tear it apart and get it out of my house, but it wouldn't fit through the door. So this thing. You guys might have seen whenever I redid my laundry room last summer, I painted this white. It was like this ugly oak color. It was plywood. It was the color of plywood and I hated it. So I painted it white. Now I kind of love it. It has all white laundry baskets. This was turned the opposite way right here. And I was like, I feel like it's just so tight in here. So I moved it. I cut down this rod that we have right here hanging the clothes and I slid it in there and it fits perfect. And it's honestly my favorite thing because doing laundry for six people, there's no other way I could put this much laundry that I have to do in one area. So it's actually kind of my favorite thing. I want to show you the reason for my madness here. Okay, right? Because you're like, why would one person need so many laundry baskets? Well, that's because I'm an organized freak sometimes. We have our reds down here. Reds always bleed, especially with my whites. So I have reds right here. I have two bins for my dark colors. So one is the, the bin of laundry that needs to be washed and dried. This one needs to be washed and hung. So these are typically mine and Brandon's clothes. Pants, shirts that we don't want dried. This is all the kids' clothes. Socks, underwear, shirts, pants, everything that can be dried. Ugh. 
and most of our pajamas. This one right here is Hazel's stuff. So this is where hers goes. I usually have a, Hazy has a laundry basket in her room, but I'll typically bring that into here, put it in this laundry basket because sometimes she'll wear a red dress that I don't want to wash with her, all of her clothes. When I'm doing the reds, I'll usually just check and see what does Hazy have that needs to go in a different color. Hazy's usually goes here, and that's mostly so I just do one load of Hazy's clothes so I'm not sorting through the three boys and Hazy. Then down here, this is usually extras, so sometimes this will be sheets, mattress pad protectors, blankets, in this case right now, it's towels. Just towels. Then we have our whites, creams, light colors, anything like that. That's where all of those go. This one is towels, and it's overflowing today. That's why we've used the extra bin down here. Are you with me still? <laughs> because this is something I do every single day. In fact, I didn't do laundry yesterday or Monday, and so I'm like really behind. So my goal today is to make sure all seven of these bins are empty. Do you think I can do it? I'm kind of afraid I won't be able to, but I'm gonna try. Then I have the stuff that like, or like I told you, the stuff that's hung, and that's where I come to this section. I hang a lot. Do you guys remember me yesterday telling you how Brandon has so many black sweaters, especially black Nike sweaters? Okay, here, I'm just gonna show you guys, all right? Here's this one. He loves this one. So there's one, it's a half zip. Oh, look, oh, this one's Under Armour, still a black sweatshirt. Oh, look at this one, this one's a black zip. Oh, look at this one, this is a black half zip Nike. Yeah, that's just four. That's not including the three new Nike ones he just bought. He may have an obsession. So this is where I hang these kind of things that we don't want to dry. Obviously our awesome merch, this is howwebingham.com slash shop is where you can find all of our awesome merch. Um, just stuff that we don't, hey, look, I didn't even set these up. There's really cool shirts in the laundry right now. GoPro, can't wash that or can't dry that. We don't want it to shrink. And then of course dresses and stuff like that that I don't want to be ruined. Sweaters, hung, skirts, and then all of my extra hangers and pant hangers for everything I need. Okay guys, so one thing I didn't show you that I should, this is what I typically have set up right here. My laundry detergent, that changes from time to time. And then I love these, I have also buy, bought the Unstoppables just to make my laundry smell good. Um, I have four smelly boys in this house. Always have to have shout or spray and wash or something to help with stains. And of course, fabric softener sheets. So. That's always set up here. I like to not have this all scratched, so I set it on a towel. I have this awesome dryer. You can open it this way, or you can open it this way. This is more for loading, the other way is for unloading. This is my awesome washer. It has some water spots, because really I don't know why you'd put glass at the top of a washer, other than it's entertaining to watch. It just opens this way. It does not have that rotating thing. I showed you guys this last summer, but this is an incredible washer. This is where you load the soap, love it. So let's get a batch started here. So I've got one load started. The thing that's awesome about this washing machine is it's pretty quick. It takes about an hour. I can do a speed wash if I want to do less time, but typically I think they need to be clean for an hour. So an hour in here, and then I'll show you guys the process of when these come out, what I do next. After it goes through a normal wash cycle, I put it in the dryer for about five to six minutes and then I hang it dry and then it air dries overnight. Okay, the washing is still going. The washing machine is going, and so is the dryer. Just getting it done. Kids just got home from school. Rye Guy and Kruby just got home from school. Crew is reading Brexton's school books, which is not challenging enough. Ryler, how was your field trip? Good, fun, awesome. No! No. What is the coolest thing you learned there? The coolest thing I learned, probably that when a star explodes, it's gonna, well, how the, um, how the universe was um, formed. Kruby, how was your day at school? Fun. Fun, you had your last day of art class today. Do you wanna show me what you guys made? I was thinking I could make wow. a little calendar and I could put like one, two, three. Oh, that's a really great three. idea. Wow. Yeah. Look. It's kind of coming off. It looks really great, you guys. Great job. You guys did awesome. Okay, they want to get started on homework and chores. First before chores, always homework. So you guys can do your math, practice spelling words, and read for 20 minutes. Sounds good? You guys already know that the theme of today's vlog is laundry, right? Well, I guess it would only be appropriate that Hazy ruins her clothes. Would that make sense? On a day that I'm doing a laundry vlog, Hazel, you guys, here's a little backstory. She has been obsessed with her teeny tiny polish. Like, she loves it. It's this little polish. She takes it everywhere. She sleeps with it. She does everything with it. So I came downstairs and I find this. And it's all over her pen. Hazy. No. Did you paint your nails? Let me see your nails. Uh-uh, my patch. Let me see your nails, though. 
I oh. broke it. Let me down. see this side of them. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Oh, did you get it on your clothes? Let's see. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. That's, that's okay. okay. Accidents happen, huh? I change. Um, you want to change? Yeah. She wants to change. Okay, here's the thing about this. When stains like this are that bad. I other house. <sighs> so when the stains are this bad, you just throw the clothes away. You know me? I've got to figure out how to get all of the nail polish off of her hands. That's the bigger task. Her fingers keep sticking together. And I polish all it. Yeah, it got all over? Yeah. It's time to start folding. I still have towels washing and towels drying, but my clothes have been hanging all day. They are almost dry. Mm, not quite. Not quite. So, in the meantime, I'm going to start folding all this laundry. the way I do my laundry. This is bad, but I'm able to multitask and it makes me like enjoy it. What I do is I grab my phone, make sure it's plugged in because I might be here for a minute and I turn on a show. So whatever show I'm currently watching, I'll just turn on my show and I'll just fold laundry and fold laundry and fold laundry. And right now I have a batch of reds and a batch of darks, batch of whites, two batches of coloreds, and this is Brandon's laundry. So this is what I do. I always just set it up right here on the floor. I do Ryler's right here, Crews and Brexons, and I stack it all the same. Pajamas in back, and then I do shirts, pants, socks, underwear, and then uniforms have it on their own pile. So I just take this portion of my bedroom and I just get to work. When I have all this laundry to fold, it takes me just a minute. <laughs> Okay, so my laundry folding is officially done. So I want to show you guys a couple of things that are a little bit difficult for doing laundry for my particular family. Like I said, there's six of us. So there's a lot of laundry to fold as it is. With the boys, you probably wouldn't have noticed this as I was folding because it was in such high speed. But my kids, all three of them, generally have the same outfit. Each pair of pants, especially if I'm sitting down, I have to look at every single tag. So when I'm folding, I have to check to see whose tag it is. And then sometimes, depending on the brand, I'll buy crew like an eight in Old Navy, but I'll buy them like a seven at another store. I have to like think of, okay, what brand is this? What kit is this? And then I put it in its deck. So sometimes it's like, oh my gosh, my mind is so crazy. And another thing that's difficult, this is the sock pile I have to go through just for the boys. They go through a ton of socks. So I have to go through, match all of those, just the socks. I even have to check tags on all three different stacks of underwear because they're right here. Because they're so close in size. Really, Brexit and Crooked sometimes switch underwear and wear the same underwear, but I need to check and make sure I've got the right size with the right child. So that's one thing that's a little bit of difficulty for me in folding laundry. So then what I do, I'll place it in an individual laundry basket for each kid, and then I have them put their laundry away. And what I typically do with uniforms is I put it in a, in their closets. I have this little hanging organizer, and I'll put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So they know exactly what to wear for that day of school. It's super helpful. This has been my day today, folding all this laundry, giving you a little tour of my laundry room. The funny part part about all that is I'm not done yet no 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 because I actually didn't even get to the reds most of these are empty I did not get to the red bin by the time I put all of the boys laundry in the washing machine guess what they had more laundry so now I have more darks that I need to do hazels did not get done and I still have to fold all of my towels and put away the hanging laundry so laundry is obviously never anything that is ever finished it's a constant job so now as I sit to fold all of these socks I want to know what do you guys want to see that I I do on a normal basis. This seems like so normal for me, but I know that we all have different ways of doing stuff and there's always great ideas out there. So share your laundry hacks with me and also let me know what else do you want to see me do around the house? I have lots to get done. I have tons of things that I could do around the house. Comment below some ideas of things that you'd like to see me do in a video. Most people hate laundry and they hate folding all of these socks. I actually don't hate laundry because I'm, like I said, I'm able to multitask. I do it in a way that's fun for me. It's kind of like relaxing for me. It makes me feel good because I'm getting stuff done. It also, in a small way, this might sound weird, is a way that I'm serving my children. And so it makes me feel good that I'm doing something for them. I had fun showing you guys how I do laundry today. Comment below any ideas you guys want to see me do in the house and we'll get to it. All right, guys, laundry's done. Dad took the kids out for a while so I could get the laundry finished. Check it out on our Insta story. We had a blast. Mom had the blog camera. She was here vlogging at home. So we posted everything we did on our Insta story at This Is How We Big Them. Check it out. Mom, don't you check it out because you don't know what we did. All right, guys. Woo! He's gonna go get some cool footage of the moon, you guys. It looks incredible. The moon's insane. I'm gonna get some drone footage. You guys, I'm gonna sign off right now because I gotta go get the kids bathed in bed and I have a meeting at my house, so.
Oh good, dad bought everybody balls that are just gonna be randomly throughout She's the garage. She's so excited, look it's pink. <laughs> okay guys, I will see you tomorrow. Bye. See ya.